<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the AC Unit Podcast. I'm Claudia. And I'm Alyssa. And, uh, yeah. We... <laughs> and... Today we're going to be talking about friendship. The power of friendship. How corny. Not just the power of friendship, but how toxic friendships can get. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about on this subject. The ins and outs of friendship. Yeah. But before we get into that, um, we are going to go through our reoccurring themes for today. Okay. And okay. we're going to start with Alyssa's, like, gym horror stories. Horror or, stories. I don't know. Some of them are interesting. Uh, they are. Just, there's a lot of stupidity. Oh, yes. I feel like this is something that I could talk about for ages. Ages and ages. I mean, anyone who's friends with me on Snapchat knows... <laughs> All of my frustrations. Okay, so I go to this gym called, we'll call it Global Exercise. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> global Exercise. It's called Global Exercise. And. Start a gym called Global Exercise, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I want to open up my own gym. And people said that I should because I go. I've been so frustrated with this gym that I've been a loyal member at for be picky about six who years. you let in. <laughs> and that's the key. That's the key because um this gym <clears throat> prides itself on not allowing um meatheads. <laughs> they use a different word. No judgment. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> and um that's like their entire clientele now. At least at the one, the location that I'm going to. Anyways. Yeah. Um, so I've been there for six years. It was a really awesome gym. It was like where old people would go. And then just like a few people who are serious about their fitness. Like casual people, you know, casual <laughs> gym goers. Honestly, this gym is becoming like Walmart. But now it's <laughs> Walmart. And Walmart's right next to it. Okay, I, I'm being very obvious <laughs> with this <laughs> I'm getting sued. Anyways. Um, anyways. It's fine. They're just going to take all your fees from chaotic. saying that they canceled it, but they didn't cancel it. Oh, I know. That's the tea. Yeah. So I canceled it. I have one more month left, so hopefully I'll get a few more good stories before I'm done <laughs> in the middle of September. But um, yeah, so this particular story, um, I I think I had taken a little break and I went back and... Um, I was just doing my thing, going about my workout. Now, the weight section is very small, and that's usually where I go. I'm not a huge cardio person. I'm a more like weight. I love the weight room. Um, and <laughs> they It's have... the most packed area, too. Bro, it's ridiculous. It's so packed. You can't even move. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're in there like sardines or something. And um, there's not a lot of benches there. Nope. No. So I finally, I, I, I was doing things, you know, I don't know, maybe other people can relate where you're waiting for a machine or a bench and you're kind of doing other workouts that you don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to do, but you're just doing them while you're waiting yeah. for that thing to free up. Mm -hmm. So I was doing that thing and I finally spotted it. It's like the, the heavens opened up, the clouds parted and a Ooh. golden ray <laughs> fell upon this bench that was now free. And I was like, yes. So I walked so quickly to it. I was like, dope. I noticed, though, that naturally, because this is the type of gym that it is now, that the person who was using it didn't wipe it down. And now. Yeah, I've noticed that about like a lot of gyms. People just like. Like aren't COVID or clean. not, that's disgusting. It's really gross. That's disgusting. Like, you don't I do don't want to sit on your butt sweat. No. No, literally. Or your I cooties. Think, I think I could literally see the outline of butt sweat on uh. it. So. <laughs> Gross. It's a wonder I've stayed with them this long. So I was like, okay, whatever. I put my water bottle down and my phone down right next to the bench. And um, I think I even put it on the bench because I was, yeah. you know, like. And I you're just like, I'm claiming this. I claimed it. I claimed my it's like territory. putting your flagpole somewhere. Exactly. Or like how a dog pees. Like on yeah, something that, you're yeah. claiming your territory. <laughs> exactly. So I was claiming it. I ran to go get the sprayer bottle and the the paper towel yeah. i go back wipe it down 
And then um, I, I go back, throw the paper towel out, go back to the bench, take my phone and um, water bottle off the bench, look towards the dumbbells. I get a couple dumbbells and I turn around and there's someone at my bench. And, in, and I had earbuds in and he goes, are you using this? And I looked at him for a second because it was freaking obvious that I was about to use it. I looked at him and I went, yeah, yeah, I'm using that. I shook my head, yes, and everything. I, yeah, yeah, I'm using that. He goes, okay. Looks down at the bench and rolls it away. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I am now standing there at an empty space where my perfect bench was, two dumbbells in my hand, just in shock. That's like that's like someone finding your donut and they're like, is this your donut? <laughs> You're, you're like, like yeah, yeah. And you're like, like okay, okay. bye. And walks away with your donut <laughs> and eats it. Yeah. <laughs> so I look at this empty space now, and I look to the left. Like I'm in, I'm in like the office now. I'm like looking like at the imaginary shock. camera. Yeah. So I'm like, did anyone just see that? You're like doing the gym. Exactly. Yeah. I'm doing the, and I look to the left, to the right. You're doing the gym really... at the gym. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Puns. Good. I, I, I try a little that. I try. There. <laughs> so yeah, and then I just. Turned myself back to the big mirror and just did hammer curls <laughs> with my dumbbells. I was like, well. Did you ever end up getting okay. like the bench back or no? So what ended up happening was I, um, someone to the left of me had a couple more exercises and they then were done with their bench. So I hopped on their bench and I started working out on that one. And the dude came over to me, the dude who stole my bench, bench stealer. He came over and he goes Stoop kid who? No, we only know bench stealer. Bench stealer. <laughs> and then he was like, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take it. And I was like, It's okay. Bro. Like I didn't mean to take saying, it, like, even though I verbally and like physically nodded my head yes. Yeah, I'm like, what do you mean you didn't mean like people don't listen anymore? <laughs> no, they Dude. just walk around with like one brain cell if they're lucky enough to have one. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that is everyone who goes to global exercise. <laughs> That's just the general. It's a great like representation of what uh, goes on there. Anyways, that's wow. my first story. That That's a damn. <laughs> the audacity of people. The audacity. The audacity. <laughs> All right. So our next segment is agree to disagree slash hot takes whatever you want to call it um we do want you guys to send some ideas in for like some agree to disagree hot take stuff that you want us to talk about yeah so please comment tell us your hot takes yeah we'd love to hear it and we'd love to discuss it we should get like a sting like hot takes something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So our first um hot take slash agree to disagree. Um. Do you think dudes and dudettes can be friends? I wrote this when I was really tired. <laughs> so you know, dudes and girls, girls and dudes. Uh, dudes, dudettes. But like straight dudes and straight girls. I because think. like I have a guy best friend, but like you know. Yeah, LGBT. Tell me. Okay. You know? Yeah. So well, obviously we're gonna be BFFs. Yeah. Um You start with your opinion. And then whatever you say, I'm gonna uh, say the opposite. Okay, so no. <laughs> like platonically. I feel like it can happen, but most of the time it's not a very possible thing to happen. Because usually the guy has a crush or develops a crush on the girl mm. or i've discussed this with friends where it's like you open a side that you usually open with like when two girls are friends mm -hmm. like we're usually like very emotional beings and like we talk about that stuff and like i feel like a lot of guys are still not really intact with their emotions so when girls open <laughs> up to guys about stuff yeah. they think they're like does she like me oh my god oh uh, starts having feelings oh. for her and stuff and then like because like it's not something that's very common with uh like i feel like like male on male like platonic <laughs> friendships male on male <laughs> male on male <laughs> 
No, I I agree with that. I think that's interesting. I never considered that before. That when because with friendship, or it that's could be like the other way around up. too. Because sometimes the girls can get feelings for the guy. Yeah, and then the guy gets like a girlfriend, and they like they're best friends with the girls like a bitch to like his girlfriend. Yeah, it's, like she's jealous. Yeah, that. Yeah, it gets weird when. So personally. After high school, I found like a group of friends that was mostly. Yeah, you have a lot uh. of guy friends. Whoa, that was a juicy one. Okay. Um, you, I like how you just got reached to the mic. <laughs> Burp. I leaned into it. I'm so sorry. Beautiful. We just, we just lost 10 listeners right there. Nope. Well, we uh, ten, 10 of our 10 all left. <laughs> we got more than that. No, you're right. You're right. We have more than that. Which, I checked the analytics which last night. Which I wanted night. to say, I'm so excited we have. Like more listeners than I thought we were gonna have. Same. And like this is so exciting. Grow. And people were texting us, our friends. Shout yeah. out to all you guys, and we're like, we love you, oh. friends and friends' parents. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Sean's hello, aunt mothers. Kathy was like, it was so fun to listen, and I was like, oh my gosh, thanks for listening. <laughs> thanks. So cute. What were we talking about? <laughs> friends. No, imagine friends. just like friends. What about friends? <laughs> <laughs> what about friends? I have no idea. What I don't really about. like the show. Um, <laughs> uh, if oh. they can be friends. Oh, um, if girls and guys can be they, friends. Yes. Platonically. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. After high school, I I got like a a friend group, and it was mostly all guys. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It was yes. Mostly all guys. Like I can't. I think like six of them, seven of them. Yeah, there's. It's a big group of dudes. It's a big group of dudes, and I was like, damn, girl. <laughs> How? I know. I don't I know. I need how more it happens. guy friends. And it's that's the thing. It's like I I don't know. We're really close. I do think that maybe when we were in high school, there was like some feelings there, it but we've never just, talked about it's it. It's been erased now. Yeah, exactly. It's like been enough time where we we've gone past it, and now a lot of us have significant others. So yeah. and it's like sadly we don't see each other as much, and I think that's a part of the reason why Mm because we're all kind of dating different people but yeah um yeah i still like you know we're friends like i'll support them actually we're gonna go to a demo derby on saturday some of us sounds like fun yeah i think that it's definitely possible i also think that for me personally um growing up with a brother that I was really close with, and oh. I would hang out with all his guy friends. Yeah. So I kind of just wanted to be like one of the boys all the time. So even when I'm with Sean and all his friends, um, sometimes Sean will be like, "Oh, it's gonna be all guys. Are you sure you're okay?" And I'm like, "No, it's cool. I, I actually like feel it. a little bit shyer with girls." So kinda. do I. Really? I think it's because um, yeah, because I do have mainly more of a female like friend group. Yeah. With like some males in between. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> sprinkled in there. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> but I do feel like I'm very picky about who I choose to be my friends now because yeah. like trauma, <laughs> which leads us into. Oh, uh, just kidding. Um, trauma. Not really. I'm not <laughs> traumatic friends. Well, no. <laughs> keep going traumatic with, friends. Keep, keep going with what you're um, saying. I do notice that girls can get very catty, and mm-hmm. I think that's what makes me super anxious. Yeah. About people because like. I feel like people are judging me even though, like, some people aren't. Yeah. So, like, I am a goofy person. And sometimes I'm openly You're too goofy. Goofy goober, yeah. 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 Goofy <laughs> goober. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, like, that's who I can tell, like, who I should be, quote, unquote, normal, have no emotion around. Or oh, if like, I can like actually Squidward be myself. Or uh, Spongebob. Yeah, I don't know why there's a lot of Squidwards in the world. I yeah. feel very judged whenever I'm a goofy goober. Um, I feel the same. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm really weird and no one likes me. So then I just, oh. I kind of just shut myself in the corner and like sob. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> you're like you're Internally. Like, What's that sound? <laughs> oh, that's Claudia sobbing in the corner. It's like... <laughs> Reads heavily. Oh my god. Crying in Spanish. Guys. Is she okay? Yeah, she just does this. <laughs> she just feels bad because no one likes to be funny. <laughs> no, I feel that. I get insecure a little bit because 
Well, this is a whole different thing, a whole different tangent. But, but also, like, I'm friends with such, like, beautiful people so that I'm just like, oh, I'm like, <laughs> I look like Quasimodo next to everyone. No, are you kidding me? No. I'm just no. like, everyone's a model. And I'm like, I'm ring bells for a living. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my. Of course you had to fit that into the. <laughs> I really want to fit it in. Do we even have that video? Yes. Okay, we're referencing theater once again in between though yeah it was me walking in you during <laughs> i rang bells for a living we were in the girls locker room <laughs> oh my gosh but that was the last time i had like a well that's not true but we had a really solid girlfriend group in high school me you Ramesa, and olivia and that was Maybe awesome those. that was awesome yeah um but we shall yeah. talk about that yeah when we get into the topic topic yeah. So our sec- second slash last um, agree to disagree hot take is oh yeah is ghosting a friend okay? This is a tough one, and mm. you can look like an a hole real quick. Yeah. Have you ghosted a friend, Alyssa? <laughs> <laughs> Putting me on the spot. It's fine. I'll she put came up with these hot topics. Okay. I did. But I really love them. Um. Thank you. Yes, I have ghosted a friend. You ghosted a friend. I've ghosted a friend. Did you say boo? I said boo Did and you scare I them? disappeared. Did you scare them out of the pantaloons? Yes. Out of their <laughs> breeches. Their bridges. Breaches? I don't breaches? know. No. Who don't knows? Know. Uh, <clears throat> um yeah, I I'm trying to think if I go ooh, there was two that I Well, one of them was like a dramatic fight. I've ghosted Fresh three beer. friends. You ghosted three? Okay, I was gonna say <laughs> don't feel bad <laughs> No, don't feel bad. But I did it for my mental health. Yeah, and so tell it was me like why you did it. I'll tell you why I did it. Yeah. Stuff. You know? Yeah. It was... One was like super, super toxic. And I yeah. was like, I need to leave it. Because it was like literal like abuse at that point. And yeah. I was like, peace out. Yeah. And they like, they were already showing their true colors, but it got to the point where they like had their breaking point And I was like, I've had enough. And then yeah, I left them a message and... Then they like called me. I didn't answer, and then I blocked them on everything. Yeah. Um. But for like other times, like, um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know why I'm choking on everything. <laughs> Do you need water? I've water. Oh yeah, I have my um dunks. Which we don't know Not the brand sponsored. because we haven't been sponsored yet. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Bunkin. You Bunkin. Bunkin Bonuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep um yeah yeah but like first ever time i've ever ghosted a friend it was more of me like leaving silently because i didn't feel like fighting yeah and silent also but deadly. to all these people that i've ghosted <laughs> keep going i have no hate in my heart towards you i'm yeah. not angry i've moved on and i'm an adult like i don't have time to think about these things anymore yeah um i want to be positive i want to enjoy my life but uh third time it was kind of like three strikes are out type thing and then i was so just yeah tired. you gave chances and i yeah. think that's an important part and, of like, it there were there was like some friendships that i did like purposely like want to work out and like it just didn't yeah and i even tried like talking about it to them it just it went over their head or they just didn't want to talk so i was like okay bye yeah <laughs> not m- worth my time if you're not gonna put the effort in i guess there's only so much you can do yeah. at some point sometimes yeah. like just like relationships sometimes people just don't mesh anymore yeah or- it hurts a lot but like- oh yeah Sometimes like worse than a breakup, but yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> well, <laughs> one relationship. <laughs> no, but it's true. Like I'm thinking of the friendship I had freshman year. We were friends all throughout middle school. She was my bestie. We did sports together and like mm. you know hung out all yeah. the time. But my freshman year, I kind of alluded to it last time. I had a really troublesome freshman year. Yeah, I remember that. And um, I like it, it was the type of thing where I was hanging out with kids who were so bad for me i ended up in court um what yeah <laughs> i didn't know about that mm. i think my nose is bleeding again oh yeah warning um <sighs> Alyssa's on accutane oh and why are you telling people my medical is no i'm just kidding <laughs> hipaa violations <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a doctor <laughs> so you can get away with it i can't uh. lose my license 
Gosh. Other than my driver's license. I'm going to take away your driver's license for telling people about my Accutane. <laughs> your brother pulls me over. <laughs> we will. We will. Oh, okay. So Wait, I'm just trying to play Pokemon Go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to talk about that at some point. Um, wait, so what were we saying? Uh, you were talking about... Oh, in the court. court. <laughs> How can I forget? Yeah, so it, it was just getting really bad. <clears throat> I was going down a pretty bad path. And at one point, like, she was kind of going down it farther than I was. And she was oh. starting to blame me for oh. being the one who, like, introduced her down that road. Which, I mean, I don't know. But at that point, I just knew what I had to do. Like, it was kind of... And then, ironically... I wanted to talk to her in person and like figure this out in person. I, yeah, you know, we were I love 14, talking 15. in person. Exactly. Like over text is like really stupid. It's so bad. And that's how we did it all. It was all over text. Ugh. And it happened because. Gives me agony. What does that mean? Uh, it's Portuguese for like I'm getting agony. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it sucks. And it's like, um, yeah, I, we had a friend group. It was <laughs> like the three of us and me. So four of us. <laughs> Math. No. <laughs> Three plus one. Um, don't ask me how to do math. I don't know. <laughs> this is not a math podcast. <laughs> Thank God. Thank I had God. a disability in school for math, so really? learning disability, yeah. I math was is that hard. stupid. Just no. kidding. I'm not calling myself stupid, but for math yeah. I am. <laughs> That's fair because math's hard. Um yeah. but yeah, so we had a group of us and one of those one of the girls in that group. I told I told them guys like we just found this out like she had done something that we were all kind of like <gasps> and why didn't she say anything yeah. about it and like uh, one of those girls was like okay whatever but she was kind of a shit stir and as soon as we because we were at a football game when we found out and we all got home and she texted this friend and started a whole fight over text and then this friend texted me and was like blaming me for stuff and getting mad at me and I and then I texted that. The one who started all this, the fight, I was like, why did, I literally said, we're going to wait till we're in person. And she didn't. And funny enough, I ended up ghosting her a few years after that. As you should. I would have ghosted her that night. <laughs> I know. On, I should have. Uh, yeah. She was but bad But that's also because too. I get super overwhelmed and I'm like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye to everyone. Peace out. Literally. Yep. I'm just like, no, I don't have time. Yeah. I've learned. I've learned that. Yeah. That sometimes. I mean, my first gotta, time around, I yeah, mm, it, it took me a while. But. You gotta you, like you want to give people chances, and you keep giving <laughs> yeah, the chances. And I don't then give you're people like, chances that much. Me neither. It's very I'm rare. like at this point, no. Because then you're like, it kind of is like wasting time. It, they already yeah. showed you your true colors. Like, if you can prove to me that you can change, okay, maybe. Yeah, exactly. But second time you mess up, no, no more. Sorry. No, we don't have time for that. We're no. grown adults. We have so much going on. No. Too much. And I'm mentally ill. I'm kidding. Not really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our main topic. I know Emily's going to love that. She always does. <laughs> mentally ill. Okay, keep going. Um. So, so yeah, we're going to talk about the awesomeness of friendship and the toxicness yeah. of friendship. <laughs> the toxic awesomeness. Okay. The toxic um, So, I started off with what kind of friend are we and, like, from childhood to now, like how we you said like, childhood to no. I know. I was <laughs> really tired. Said? I meant no, okay. Hey, I still appreciate you're it. You're making me you're making fun of me. <laughs> English wasn't my first language. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I like how she's changing it. Like it <laughs> This is gonna be in an essay, Claudia. No. Perfect. The turn. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Okay. Okay. Ha ha! Ooh ha! Shark be hoo ha! What? <laughs> okay. So, what kind of friend am I, Alyssa? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> you had a you had a little spit along your chin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feels so lightheaded right You're, now. Oh gosh! <laughs> Just like. Um, you're a great friend. What is that, that lady? <laughs> you're a great friend. Let's she's, move on. She's she's a really great friend, everybody. I promise. <laughs> um, 
what does that lady gaga mean be like a wonderful amazing stupendous fantastic oh i didn't mean like kind that of, no but i'm like <laughs> there's like different roles i should have been more specific <laughs> <laughs> um yeah because that's true like yeah what you, kind of friend am i you have different <laughs> what's my role in this friendship you have different like kinds of friends i don't know i mean so sometimes i'm known as the mom of the group you're yeah you I do get that from you, but I think mainly from, for me, for me, from you, (laughs) for me, from you, I get like the, the jokey, like really bubbly, fun type of friend, you know, and that, and like we do creative projects all the time. Yeah. What kind of friend am I? (laughs) Um, you're like the troll under the bridge. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm joking. Because okay. we're both the trolls under the bridge. <laughs> From Dora. No, I'm joking. You're not. You're like a beautiful model. Oh, thanks. Don't Literally. compliment me, please. <laughs> I don't know how to take compliments. Well, I would have said that for you too. I didn't know that's what you were. No, doing. um, but like you're like the creative, like really pretty like you could be a model honestly um i'd say like you're like the cool aunt that likes to travel the world oh Oh, thanks but like no literally that's so sweet like you can be like the mom friend but i think you're more of like i if i were to like hang out in a group i'm looking after everyone yeah yeah Cause like I'm too aware of my surroundings. Yeah, you and I'm like the protector. So yes. if, like, if anything happens, I'm like, I got my baseball bat in my car. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. And it's aluminum. No, you're definitely. <laughs> and it's aluminum, so watch out. It's not wood, so it can't break easily. <laughs> Ooh. You I just got like a mental through. image of that. Like, <laughs> ah, Claudia's like running from. <laughs> She, whoa, that echoed. <laughs> so, fun fact, they're having early voting in the next room over. So. Everyone, vote for your local elections. It will change everyone's life and yours. Will this be too late, the release of this? Anyway. Whatever. Um, it's just yeah, a message for anything. Yes. A public PSA. Vote. Pu- I just said public, if you're public 18, service vote. announcement. If you're 19, vote. vote. If you're 20, vote. vote. <laughs> if you're 15, vote you're not even illegally <laughs> illegally lie about your age um um yeah i you're definitely the mom friend because like the more i think about it yeah for me too I also because feel like you're i like will like, forget my head yeah. if it's not if, i feel like you know, you're kind of like body you're not a partier but you're very social like you're the social butterfly friend Ah, i'm wearing a butterfly butterfly in the sky <laughs> i can go twice as high okay um oh thanks but what kind of friend were you or when you were little like i was kind of like um the person that everyone knew and i knew them yeah. but i didn't hang out with anyone <laughs> and everyone would be like oh my gosh love you <laughs> and then that's it love you i kind of felt like a loner at sometimes because it's like okay all these people like me right but they don't want to hang out with me how does that make me feel not special it's a weird, not, it feels not very special. lonely that's a weird um dynamic yeah i had yeah. so much trouble growing up like keeping friend groups and i think it's because all these friend groups were like toxic in a way yeah like i was part of i like wanted to be pop like part of like the popular group so yeah like, i tried but then they were like they kicked me out and they were like really mean and now i'm just like trauma just kidding trauma now i just look at them i'm like okay yeah it's almost like i don't know if you feel it's kind way. of funny because like they're still in the same friend group it's really weird Right, they haven't really branched out no. outside of that. Whereas, like, I'm like a tree, and there's a yeah. lot of roots going everywhere. Yeah, you learned how to make <clears throat> friends with a lot of different people because you didn't have your safe little bubble. I guess it was kind of like um, blind dating in a way. You yeah, kind of like know what you want now. 
Yeah. And you experienced all these different types of humans. Yeah. I guess that was a good and bad thing growing up because when I was little, I was like, no one wants to be my friend. I still had friends. Yeah. But I just felt like I didn't have like my one specific best friend or like. I felt the same way. Friend group. I felt the same way. Yeah. Because I mean, I went to St. Joe's, which is like so small. We had 15 kids in our class. (laughs) Like. And I just had this one girl who I was obsessed with. Like, we were best friends. And then she got another friend. And that other friend was really mean. (laughs) Oh, love that. And then, like, would drive a wedge between us. And then it forced me to say this, you know, I was sixth or seventh grade. But I realized, oh, that's a toxic. I got to get away from that. And I'm just going to make friends with a ton of other, ton, everyone else in the class, you know. Well, but moving on to making a ton of friends, what yeah. kind of like friend groups do you think is the most healthiest? Smaller friend groups or big friend groups? Me personally, I think smaller is better. The less friends means more like um, emotional and like really close connections with people. And I feel like yeah. the bigger your group is, it's more of like your face in the crowd. Yeah, it's kind of more shallow. And, like, I feel like more fights can happen that way, too. Depends on how Mm. many people there are. That's true. I think, like, four people, like, as, like, a main friend group is perfect because two people have each other and, like, you guys can intertwine differently. Yeah, that's, I mean, what we did in high school. As long as people aren't jealous of each other. Right. Or jealous of each other's time with if one person's hanging out with one person and yeah. they're not invited or whatever. I've done the three thing. That can so get hairy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I almost think that, okay, this is this will be my take. I think that smaller friend groups are more fulfilling but are also at a greater risk of having more drama. Yeah. Because people get like really possessive over one another mm-hmm. and like can overthink and you know each other so well that the emotions are higher. Whereas a bigger friend group, at least in my experience, it's like you all have that love for each other, but it's kind of shallow. You don't really know what's going on with each other on a deeper level. But um, Unless you're like kind of free close to, to someone in yeah. the friend group. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah. kind of like free to come and go as you please. Does yeah. that make sense? Like I'm thinking of my friend group with Sean, like I call it my central mass people because <laughs> yeah. it's like his best friend and their cousins and their friend. Like I'm, that's a big friend group and I like all of them. I'm probably closest with like Emily out of there. Yeah. So it's interesting. I think you get different things out of different types of friend, friend groups. groups. Yeah. You learn a lot too. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. Um... Do you have any, like, good experiences with friend groups? None. No. <laughs> Imagine, like, none of them. <laughs> they all are awful. Yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> They're all wonderful. I yeah. think we don't what really do you- remember much of, like, the best experiences compared to the worst experiences you've ever had with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's harder to yeah. appreciate, I guess. Because it's like everyday thing because it's yeah. good. It's like so good that like yeah. you appreciate it in the moment and it's kind of just like all these sweet things happening at once. Yeah. Whereas like bad is like very easy to like pinpoint. I have a question for you. Yes. We're going to riff a little bit Uh-oh. here. <laughs> um, I feel like we both have had a lot of friends. Is there ever – has there ever been someone who came – came to your um not rescue (laughs) so dramatic but like a friend that kind of came about surprisingly so I'm thinking of um this time I was dating this guy in high school (laughs) I was dating this guy in high school (laughs) for like a year um and he broke up with me with a typed letter you didn't tell me that. He, Oh, yeah. He typed a letter. Didn't handwrite it. He typed a letter and handed it to me at my locker. We were dating for over a year, a little bit over a year. Mans could even talk to you. He just handed you a letter. He was so weird, too. At he that was point, just like he should have gotten a pigeon and sent it to you. I know. Snail mail. <laughs> so, yeah. like Break then, up in seven business days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you sign here? A <laughs> sign on the dotted line, please. It was so weird. Um... So 
And then I was like, oh, okay. And I read it as I was leaving the school and um, I was outside and I was kind of just like crying a little bit, like kind of trying yeah, to hide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had this one friend, her name's Savannah, and we had classes together. And it was that type of friend where you would joke in class and it's a very light friendship, but she saw me crying and she was like, oh no, Alyssa, are you okay? And she like hugged me and I like started crying more. <laughs> Aww. But she would, and then like. You needed that shoulder. Yeah, I yeah. needed that. I really needed that. And she helped me. And then from that point, I just felt so much closer with her because of that. So yeah. do you have anything like that? Um, I would have to say my friend Elsie. Yeah? Yeah, the one I have tattoo with. Oh. Um, she was there for me through like a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. And um, I could never thank her enough for what she's done for me. And obviously, I will do the same for her. Yeah. Um, I've been in really tough situations these past few years. Yeah. And she was there for me, like, through thick and thin. Yeah. I couldn't, like, imagine how it would be if I didn't have her. Yeah. So. That's a good crazy. friend right there. Yeah. And I hope we stay friends forever. So Yeah, I'm sure. Because... She what, seems like, bad, like a, through bad times. It's, you're it's it's a homie, you know. Yeah, you know she's gonna she she's gonna be there forever, <laughs> type yeah. thing. Even Being if like one party. of us were to like move away, I feel like right. we'd still have that friendship. Same with like Olivia and I. Yeah, it's yeah. Like we don't see each other for like years, but we hang out like one day. It's like we saw each other yesterday. Exactly. I love those types of yeah, friendships. Yeah, it's my favorite. Um, let's see. Um. Do we, um, oh, okay, so we can talk about friendships that just grow apart. Yeah, it was so funny because I was just thinking that I should have just like riffed with, but I was thinking of like when you said those friends you can see each other after a few years and yeah. um, everything's the same. I had this one friend from middle school, her name's Caitlin, and she was awesome. Um, we were like besties and we would see, like, we went to different high schools, and we would see each other every once in a while, um, but then the time got more and more, and I haven't seen her in, like, like four years now. Yeah. But it's tough. I know if I were to reach out, we could probably schedule something, but our lives are just, I don't know, yeah. different. I've now. had some friends that I've kind of drifted away from, and I feel like it's really tough for them to, like, accept that we've drifted. Yeah. Was it more, so, so would you say, like, more purposeful? I wouldn't say purposeful because, like, I was, you know, I'm always, I feel like I'm always going through something <laughs> in my <laughs> life, and I'm like, can I just get a break? Yeah. Um. So, like, the way I deal with things, I kind of, like, become a hermit, and I have to take time for myself and literally lock myself away from everyone, yeah. in a way. And, like, I do explain that to people, and it's up to people to, like, accept what I'm doing or, like, try to be up my butt about it. Mm. And, um... And I guess, like, you know, like, some people, obviously, with friendships, they want to be with each other, like, all the time. Yeah, some people, I, I do have, and, uh, um, I do have one like that. It can yeah. be hard. <laughs> um, And, like, obviously, when I'm going through these things, it's hard yeah. for me to get out and hang out with people when I'm not in the mood. Yeah. And so, I think the, like, rift happens, you know. Yeah. And, like, obviously, like, other things. It's, like, multiple friends that have happened with me. And, like... It's some people have like a really hard time with just drifting away. Yeah. I have a hard time drifting away from people too, but like it's kind of like it's life. Some people take it personally. Yeah, and I'm like I'm not doing this on a personal level. No. It's I'm growing as a human and you're stuck in a situation not situation but like you personally are stuck in your little bubble and you're not growing the way mm. I am. And it's kind of like we feel like two different humans now. Yeah. Where like we're not meshing anymore. And that's perfectly okay. Yeah. It's that. It's literally natural. Life. It's that's literally life. It's literally life. And like, I will still see you as a friend, but like, obviously like not as close anymore. Yeah. But yeah. like, it's okay. Cause like, if you do want to hang out with me, just let me know or we can make plans. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a big to do about it, but, um, yeah. you know, I guess, like, growing up and, like, being an adult now, it's, like, what you see. Like, you have, like, yeah. your main friends. Yeah. And then now you have all your acquaintances. Yeah, there's definitely, like, it's like an onion. And then you have your outer Okay, layer, Shrek. And then, <laughs> I don't even know what you're referencing. 
<laughs> is it Shrek one or Shrek two? I think he's like oh, ogres have layers like onions. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yeah, I know. Or onions about. are like ogres; they have layers. Yeah, I don't know. something like that. It's so backwards in my brain. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm bleeding out of my nose again. Um. <laughs> Nosebleed number five. Oh wait, am I or am I just like that placebo effect? I think whatever. it's the placebo effect. It's, it's like, like when you have a cold thing. and you feel like you have something running down your nose, but there's oh, nothing yeah. running down your nose. Yep. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you have like different layer, like yeah. What is like onion? The <laughs> worst experience you've ever had in friendship, like with a friend. Mm. Would the court thing be like your worst experience? Or um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, my freshman year was just hard because it was. <laughs> I just choked on my spit. That happened to me. I swear, there's a ghost trying to choke us. There is a ghost on this stage. <laughs> Don't do that to me. No, there is. There legitimately is. We'll talk about it in a spooky episode. We're gonna leave. <laughs> I'm joking. No. Nope. Well, you <laughs> We're you saw here. something last week. I did. You saw something. Under- I did see something. Let's save it for October. <laughs> Um, what were we talking about? Oh, freshman uh, year. Yeah, worst experience ever. <laughs> worst experience ever. Um, yeah, um, probably my freshman year. That I was just a lot. My worst experience um was when I was like being like actually like abused by one of my friends. Yeah, to the point where it got physical. Yeah. And I was like, I need to get out of this. And, like, I didn't tell, like, my family or anything about it until, like, later. And they never understood, like, why I dropped her. And I, like, Mm -hmm. felt bad for her. That's what always happens. Whenever I, like, go through, like, any type of situation, they're like, oh, like, what happened? And they're, like, having empathy. I'm like, don't have empathy for them. They (laughs) hurt me. Um, But... That's just me in the moment. Like, I don't care anymore. No, I feel that. But, yeah, I would say that friendship, maybe. I think yeah. you know who, who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, well, I know who you're talking about. Um, but I, something yeah. you said triggered something. Ooh. Triggered. <laughs> triggered. When you were like, oh, when they have empathy for the other person. Um, yes. That, uh, that, that is one of the most me frustrating so much. things. W- yeah. Because like, you don't want to go into detail because it hurts you so much and you're scared to tell like your family about what has happened to you. Yeah. And like... You also need to, like, heal and accept of what happened. Yeah. And then it can be super overwhelming because, obviously, you don't feel like you're going to be judged by your family. Yeah. It's more of, like, um, their reaction. Mm. And sometimes it's, like, um, what you're putting down, they're not understanding because you don't want to go into it fully. Yeah. And so then they're, like, oh, but, like, why, blah, blah, blah. And then you start getting angrier and angrier. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I get so aggressive sometimes. It's bad. (laughs) I'm like, sorry. They're like, geez, what happened? And I'm like, I don't want to get into it. Yeah. Because it's so bad. Yeah. You get angry all over again. Unless like a few years have passed and I can finally like speak on it. Yeah. If like my grandma asks me or something and I'd be like, oh, this is what happened. And she's like, what? (laughs) Yeah. Well, okay. Because she speaks Portuguese. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. I oh, love your grandma. I love her too. It reminded me of something my senior year. I was friends with a, two guys. And we had a group chat on Twitter together. Oh, God. And one of the guys had just broken up with a girl. Love it. And I was fine with it. But they were like shooting the shit. Blowing off steam. We were talking in the group chat. Oh, God. Saying funny things. What, just oh. being like funny. Really? You know? So like, like, we were just, you know, it no wasn't saltiness. like penis. Yeah, like, oh, we were good. being rude and, like, kind of, but. W- whatever. He was getting over a breakup. He was doing some shits and giggles. Exactly. So yeah. we were just, whatever. And it's a private Twitter thing. We're not putting it out there, whatever. No. Like, I'm, I pr- probably shouldn't be, like, saying bad things about people, but we can't, we do it. Like, it's a natural thing. We're human. We're yeah. not perfect. We um, all have said something mean about someone at one point. The ex girlfriend broke into his Twitter account. Oh, hacked his Twitter, found the group oh, chat. She work for like the FBI. Printed out the group chat. Well, she's definitely part of the One Direction community, wasn't she? 
She gave it to guidance. Okay. She gave it to guidance and tried to get the three. Well, two of us were seniors. Tried to get us to not be able to graduate. To not be able to walk. Really extra. Because she was so bitter over that breakup. And then I was like, no, this is not going to fly. And I found all of the the laws and the specifics of how what she did was illegal. Yeah, that is illegal. I came with like a stack and I was like, this is why it's bad. Because the vice principal, everyone, they were all getting in on this. Don't get me started on the vice principal. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get me started. (laughs) So I was like, here's your proof. And if you're going to like, you know, punish us, then it's not going to be good for for the school. It could have been so... Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry for everyone who hears me sipping because I <laughs> have to sip so I can stop talking. It's, um, what's it called? That when they like whisper into the mic. And ASMR. Like, ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that w- that was a bad friend thing. And then that triggered a different thing. That's terrible. I was best friends with a girl senior year. We went to the same college, whatever. And I think she, this girl was so hurt that she told that friend, uh, so, like was lying to her about me saying stuff about her. Okay, so and then these, also was I was friends so with her ex-boyfriend. So these girls basically and projecting girl, exactly. and they were jealous or insecure then, in some way. Exactly. and then Which is like oh, really sad. She took a picture. I had graduated and I was holding up a sign that said, my parents made a sign that said, I don't know it yet, but I'm going to Bermuda. That's so cute. She took that picture, put it on her Finsta and replaced it with, I'm a well, we're going to have to like... <laughs> Blurb that. Yeah. Um, um, see you next Tuesday. If you know what I mean. I um, love see you next Tuesday. Uh, yeah. And then she ruined another wow. friendship out of that. So I've actually had some bad stuff So she's down. insecure. She's crazy. She's insecure. And she, yeah, she's probably insecure because I was friends. You clearly with her don't like. You clearly don't like yourself if you're doing <sighs> stuff like that. I've had that's some really horror sad. Things. Actually, now that I think about that's it, I've had really like sad. probably five instances where I'm just casually friends with a guy and their ex girlfriend goes crazy. I on can't me. believe like people have the time and energy to do that. Though. I know, like, like, dude, get a life, go practice your. Whatever. I was gonna say what she does. Whatever you do, yeah. Your hobbies. Go practice your. Get your career going. Like, don't. I don't know. But that's high school for you, you know. Uh, well, you're not gonna get far if you're like that. So. No. Sorry. No. That's not my issue though. That's hers. Ugh, she needs to work on herself. Stuff. Clearly. Yeah. Um. But. Probably did. Yeah. That. That is friendship right there. <laughs> And the some toxic and people who like to weasel their way in. Mm-hmm. They need to work on themselves. Get a therapist. This is not sponsored by BetterHelp. So. <laughs> not yet. I keep saying that every not time. Not yet. We will get a sponsor one day. <laughs> yeah. It's like our hundredth episode. You know, if it takes that long. It will take that long. And that's okay. That's okay. Because uh, we we'll don't be have here. expectations here. We just want to have no, fun. We're just... Um, Blowing off steam. Ha ha, AC unit. Uh, <laughs> next topic. That was pretty chill. <laughs> 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 All right. Chill. So we want you as an audience to comment, like, subscribe, follow, and rate um, on our YouTube Five channel. Five stars. Don't rate if you're going to give us one star. Yeah, we don't want your opinion at that point. <laughs> <laughs> or just give us a five, five star, star and then put your opinion. <laughs> yeah. Say we take five criticism. Stars. We take criticism. These girls suck, but five stars. I would laugh, screenshot it, and then post it. Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah. If you give us a review, we'll screenshot it and put it on our AC Unit Instagram stories. Will we? Yes. Okay. Yep. That that's Alyssa's decision. <laughs> <laughs> giving more work for myself. I'd be like, this is poop. <laughs> I'll screenshot that and post it. <laughs> this is poop. That would make we'll me be laugh. Like, Thanks. Honestly, people send hate and I just laugh at it. It doesn't affect me. So <laughs> yeah, send all the hate you want. It's not going to affect me. Oh gosh, now we're going to get hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey Alyssa, look at this. <laughs> You're like, okay. And it's like saying like the worst thing you could possibly say to someone. <laughs> Unless You're it's like, a okay, death threat, then help. that's serious. Do not send death threats. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm aggressive, so you don't want to send it. And is this people. the end of the show? Yep. Oh no. Our table. It's broken. Again. <laughs> um Dang. It goes by so fast. I know. 
Um, 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 so we're looking ahead to the spooky season and we want to get you guys involved. AKA October, my birthday month. Yes. Um, so what we want you guys to send us in the comments, um, even on our Instagram, you can comment there or send us a DM if you want. Yeah. Um, we'll look through them. But we want to hear any spooky stories that you have experienced or any family members of yours that have experienced. Yeah. Um, paranormal or... Like paranormal, zombies, anything. vampires. Well, um, I don't think there are any zombies and hopefully there aren't any zombies because <laughs> that is one of my biggest fears. Really? Yeah, I will off myself immediately. <laughs> you wouldn't even fight. <laughs> I don't have time for that. You'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I'd be like... Claudia is no longer a part of this world. <laughs> Claudia has expired. Yeah, I have expired. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, send us your spooky stories. Yeah, my cousin encounters. mentioned something about banshees with our great grandma. So that's a funny story. Okay. Um, yeah, even if they're funny. Yeah, like, like send us any serious, like, funny. Like, anything. Yeah, anything. Anything. We, We're open to it. We love the spooky um, stuff. So. Along with comment on any hot takes you want us to talk about. Yeah. Anything like that. But thank yeah. you for watching and listening to our second episode. Someone was opening the door over there. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I heard it and I was like, Alyssa. I saw the door crack open. <laughs> I was like, Alyssa, I feel a presence behind me. <laughs> There's a presence. <laughs> the ghost like, hunters. There's heat in this room. Or no, it's cold. It's cold. I just think of Zach. <laughs> I think of Zach from like, what is it, Ghost It's Hunters? Eric Saw. Eric, Jesus. come be on our podcast. Scared me. Okay. Well, uh, anyways, I think of Zach from Ghost Hunters, and he's like standing like this, and he's like, so. And like, <laughs> so. I saw the TikTok on it. It was so funny. Okay, anyways, I need to stop talking. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. You already heard it before. And peace out. See you next week, maybe.